so we discussed all the strategies last time you know manual put away strategies fixed win strategies and general storage put away strategies addition to existing strategies and near fixed win and the empty storage bin put away strategies near fixed one and the bulk storage one and this is the more we focused on the storage type determination like how it is going to uh, determine like you know uh, which product should go to the which storage type okay uh, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos anyway again we will discuss today because we need, we need to for the complex inbound so so that again we will discuss more on the storage type determination again we are not discussed about section and section uh, determination and, uh, and even storage bin determination also because just based on the storage type only we have done it so we'll see that and uh, storage type subsequence this is what we discussed them right how the system is uh, stss will determine okay <clears throat> just i want to run some uh, couple of scenarios like you know for example you receive a handling in it that is a very large handling in it. And you know, it may not fit for us, uh, like put into our warehouse. So how I can repack, uh, unpack and repack in um, at the staging areas, okay? And that's where I'm going to show now. Uh, just I create one uh, delivery quickly. A sec. Quickly we create one purchase order. Reason, you know, I'm not getting my delivery should be there here. My my purchase order. Yeah, okay. Because I don't want to like you know create every time. See, you need not to create a purchase order every time, you know. Just if you go there here and my purchase purchase orders, so you will get it. See, if I just you hold it and drag and drop into there is a bin is there, like bin type like that. Okay, just you drop it, you will get it. Every information you will get it here. Okay, so I'm not doing anything like you know, uh, existing purchase document. I'm copying, I mean, I'm moving, dragging, and dropping here. So just I will save it so I can avoid so much uh, like you know, again, creating purchase order so many times, entering all the details. Okay, sir, sir, I have a question. Yeah, please. Uh, but we need to we need to create an auxiliary packing with before no no we have created one packing material already okay that we will discuss about like you know more on while doing packing pack specs and all these things i will discuss while working on a vas work center and also i will i will explain more on like you know but we will cover more on vas only where we will define uh, pack specs how to activate the pack specs and how to define several steps for the packing specifications you know depends on the business whether it you want to pack with uh, just auxiliary packing and main packing or like you know several steps we can do that no, 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 no. i'm not i'm not asking that part here when it's if the in the inbound uh, uh, oh, yeah. pallet so uh, repack one we need the material right packing material uh, you are asking inbound inbound delivery see for example if you receive it if you receive a handling in it Definitely, uh -huh. you know, the vendor or You're supplier, he will pack and he will spend it. Yes, Sometime, and if he send it, so use one. So uh -huh. it may not fit us. So how we can split into EWM side? That's what I want to say. Yes, when we split, uh, we need a pack. Uh, yeah, box. that's what. Uh, packing material is required. We don't need yes, anything. That, packing material what, is enough. That is what I'm asking. Yeah, we have already created one packing material, right? You know that oh. we have already cre oh. created one. Uh, okay. If you remember last class, we already created packing material. MM03, okay. I will show that, okay. And EWM5710. Uh, see, our pack material is there already. Okay, okay. got it, got it. Thank our you. Our pack you. material. Uh, Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. selector. And you know, our packing material is 5710. Oh. And uh, though we extended, um, we maintained 57. Uh, this is 1D receiving and dock, and our sales org is 570 and the distribution channel is also 57. Okay, 
See, the important thing I discussed, I mean, uh, sales and the general, this is a very, very important information, like, you know, because I want to draw some line, but some reason is getting problem. For me. Some reason I'm not getting here to write it, some information. So, okay. so I'm putting 500 quantity so that we can split into five, four and five handling in it. 100, 100, 100, okay? Five handling in it. And the price is this one. Uh, rest is same. Okay, I'm not doing anything different here. Just I added extra bigger one. Just save it. Okay, so we can minimize the like you know creating. So nine four nine is there. So there only we will create VL thirty one n. So forty nine is there, and uh, just what we have to do is like maybe with the STSS only we are doing. Uh, we can say pack split. Okay, just for our understanding, you know. Just I'm putting pack split. Okay. Now, now you want, if you want to pack it, assume that this material you are getting packed material, I uh, mean, big handling in it. So there is option is a pack at the top where you can say delivery level, delivery creation level. And then you need to select pack material. See, this one is generally, you know, you don't know that what pack material they are going to send them, right? Sometimes we don't know the what packing material. So sometimes we call as a, this packing material as a generic packing material. Unless until you know you discuss with him several vendors, understand like their packing materials, every packing material if you maintain, then it's okay. But sometimes you know, we don't know that. They they send it simply everything in one packing material, everything one handling in it. Or or if they, they split into different handling, it so depends on business requirement. Okay. And sometimes these deliveries knows there is a, a shipping department, they will create these uh, handling units. Okay. So they need to choose a packing material, but it's uh, see this, this packing material we have done. So as a generic packing material only as of now. Okay. So you need to select how many quantities you want to pack it. You want to quantities, 500 quantities, you can select. There is option we have a even parcel quantity we have. Okay. Uh, how many you wanted, everything you can split. Okay. So now what I'm doing is I'm not doing anything here. Just I'm packing this one. Okay. So this is a pack one. Just pack it. See the number is a created four series. Our number. This is the four series. Four series is our external number. Please note down that is external number we are receiving from the vendor. So the delivery is distributed. There's a two one five. Okay. Two one five only. I'm going to PRDI. So, so delivery is um, just you run it, you know, just because we don't have much deliveries. Make sure that you know your default settings all the time. See, for example, mine is it's coming as a Harris one, I think so. So you need to change all the time for warehouse and your disposal part. <coughs> okay. So you need to refresh it. So these many deliveries we have and uh, okay, pack split. So this is a delivery and you double click this one. And this one header level, you know, already document category, document type, INB, all these things, goods received. And also there is header um, item level. And uh, this is a product and 500 quantity and uh, you know, our various process type and the goods movement ribbon is a staging bin and a fun stock. Okay. And the packing status is a completed because already packed material. Goods receipt not started unloading put away. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. That is not started. Okay. So what I'm going to do that before creating a warehouse task, I need to split this one. Okay, where I can do that. You know, the leftmost corner, you know, inbound delivery at the top one, follow no actions. See, before creating a warehouse task for this one, we have an option is called pack, okay? And we have unloading is also the pack and return to vendor is also that. We'll discuss when we will use this one, okay? But creating warehouse tasks, we use this one. For packing, in case you want to split the packing, you can always repacking or something you can do here only, okay? So, it looks like you know inbound uh, uh, packing work center. This is the inbound packing work center. Okay, so remember this one. 
this is the handling unit and this is the uh, product you can always see the product how many quantity and what units and every information is there the more or less same is even here also same information okay leftmost no both are okay up and down is same things only so no need to worry that okay see now i wanted repack this one to 55 five hus 